We in aircraft operations here at Kennedy Space Center believe in our core values of the center. First and foremost is safety. Uh, safety of flight, safety of aircraft operations uh, is something we think about every day. Wildfires are a threat to human life and property. At a spaceport, an out-of-control wildfire can have disastrous consequences. Those who battle these blazes need to always be prepared. Uh, aircraft operations is called upon periodically to support uh, our fire rescue teams. Our job is to be uh, ready to be able to provide that support at any time. Here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, firefighters stand ready to respond with teams on the ground and in the air using the latest tools and technology. This includes helicopters and aircraft that drop large buckets of water and flame retardants. These containers are called Bambi buckets. The Bambi bucket exercise is put in place to enhance safety and to have a rapid response team in case we have a, a wildfire uh, developed here at Kennedy Space Center. We need to have a rapid response team in place, ready to go at a moment's notice so they can control a wildfire uh, where ground vehicles normally can't get to. Training by aircraft operations teams perfects skills needed to ensure they are ready to defend the spaceport from these hazards. A dangerous situation can erupt quickly from a simple lightning strike during dry months. Practice makes perfect and we train the way we fight. And with Florida being the lightning capital of the world, it's important that we are mission ready at all times. A three-person helicopter crew continually practices picking up water from a nearby waterway and dropping it on simulated targets at the center shuttle landing facility. The training includes a crew flying over traffic cones set up as targets over the south end of the runway at the Space Center shuttle landing facility and dropping water using a Bambi bucket. The Bambi bucket is used for aerial fire suppression. It holds 324 gallons of water and it can be used specifically to drop water with pinpoint accuracy on a fire. The bucket is designed to help contain a fire. For example, if firefighters on the ground become surrounded by flames, a helicopter crew can come in at a low level and drop water on a specific spot to open an escape route for the people on the ground. For the recent training, the helicopter crew hovered over one of the canals surrounding the shuttle landing facility runway and lowered the Bambi bucket into the water. There are several ways water can be dropped on a specific target depending on the need. A wet drop requires the helicopter crew to come in and hover, dropping water and wetting down an area or a building to retard the spread of a fire. The spot drop is similar, except the crew hovers at a lower altitude, resulting in the water hitting a small area, aiming to put out the blaze in a specific location. When needing to spread water in a straight line, a stitch drop is used as the helicopter flies in a direct path over a fire. A hook drop involves the helicopter flying in a tight turn and releasing the water in a curved or arched pattern. Through this training, we can maintain proficiency and develop confidence to respond to any emergency. While fighting a fire is the job of a helicopter crew operating a Bambi bucket, safety is always a paramount concern. Aircraft operations practices a culture of safety. The guys that fly together train together. This way they know they are each other's personality and enhances safety during the operations here at Kennedy Space Center. Aerial firefighting is an extremely dangerous operation for everyone involved. Often the helicopters are working in conjunction with other aircraft and firefighters on the ground. NASA's Kennedy Space Center's aircraft operations is one of the best in the world. Safety is key to our success.